The first report card from the inquiry into missing and murdered indigenous women and girls was released today. It calls on the federal government to extend the inquiry's deadline, provide more money, and create a national police task force that could reopen cases. CTV's Beth McDonnell has reaction from one Manitoba family. Every drawing tells a story from her life. Nicole Daniels was smart, protective of her siblings, and was becoming a talented artist before she died in April 2009. Uh, Joan Winning that's told that's her that's niece's something. story to the National Inquiry into Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women and Girls when community hearings were held in Winnipeg. Daniels was just 16 years old when she was found frozen blocks away from her Winnipeg home. But the uh, autopsy report was filled with some assumptions and uh, I, I feel that they closed it too soon. They didn't do the work that we wanted them to do to investigate this further. Wednesday in Ottawa, the inquiry released its first interim report. It calls on the federal government to create a national police task force that could allow the inquiry to refer families and survivors to assess or reopen cases or review investigations. Families and survivors have told us they want answers. They have questions and they desperately want answers. The inquiry says it can refer matters to police for reinvestigations only when it has new information. We believe that the appropriate authority to hear this evidence needs to be created immediately. Many families and Indigenous communities do not trust the institutions that are currently in place. In Manitoba, Project Devote is a collaborative effort between RCMP and Winnipeg Police. It investigates unsolved homicides and missing persons cases where foul play is suspected. It makes me even more determined. Winning is fighting to have her niece's case reopened. She says that's the main reason she participated in the inquiry, even though Winnipeg police say Daniel's death was not deemed suspicious. With this being nationwide, they'll be forced to, to reopen it. It's a good idea. The inquiry still plans to examine policing practices with Indigenous communities at institutional hearings. Those are expected to begin in early 2018. Beth Macton, LCTV News, Winnipeg. The federal government tells CTV News it will review the interim report. The inquiry says it spent or allocated one-third of its budget. The federal government earmarked $53.8 million for the inquiry.